Fired NFL quarterback Trevon Boykin sits in jail tonight, one day after his girlfriend told WFAA that he brutally attacked her. Now, Boykin denies it, but police say they've got surveillance inside his home that may have captured what happened. Lauren Zakalik reports. Trevon Boykin was booked into the Mansfield jail Wednesday, exactly one day after his on again, off again girlfriend Shabrika Bailey said publicly. I ain't here left with. This time, literally a broken face. Enough is enough. I remember just collapsing completely. And I just woke up in a puddle of blood on the kitchen floor. In an exclusive interview with News 8, she accused Boykin of beating her so badly, he broke her jaw in three places and landed her in the hospital. That, in turn, has landed Boykin in jail. He's currently here in the jail. Uh, he'll, he will be transported to Tarrant County Jail. Uh, there is no bond at this time. Police told us the former TCU and Seattle Seahawks quarterback was arrested at his Mansfield home Wednesday without incident, charged with aggravated assault with serious bodily injury. Police also revealed there were cameras inside Boykin's home. Detectives reviewed those videos and found, quote, video footage of what appeared to be an assault that occurred inside the residence. Basically, we're able to confirm that the assault occurred after reviewing the video. Bailey showed News 8 text messages she says are from Boykin, which tell her to say she had a fight with a female. We don't need another problem. Boykin was released from the Seahawks after the story broke, and he released a statement saying, I want to be clear that the story is false. As for Bailey, who says this wasn't the first time Boykin was physical with her, she is recovering physically and emotionally. You can't keep doing this, and it's not cool to constantly, like, Make me the victim. And you get away with it. Boykin is still here at the Mansfield jail tonight. His new mugshot has not yet been posted. It's not clear exactly when he is going to be transferred to the Tarrant County Jail. As for Shabrika Bailey, she did not want to comment tonight on Boykin's arrest. Live in Mansfield, Lauren Zakalik. Channel 8 News. All right, thanks a lot, Lauren. Today's arrest is Boykin's third since 2015. Nearly one year ago, Dallas police arrested him on suspicion of marijuana and public intoxication. A car in which he was a passenger crashed in Uptown. Those charges were dropped last month. And then in 2015, on the eve of the Alamo Bowl, Boykin broke TCU's curfew and wound up in a bar fright, fight. rather. He pleaded no contest to resisting arrest, public intoxication, and assaulting an officer. He got one year of probation. Police body